So a team from the orphan's hands came to her village. Yeah. And she, she met one of our house parents, met our yeah. kids five years ago, and yeah. dreamed of joining the orphan's hands in, in, in being included in the house. But she thought it was only for the orphans. We're not just for orphans. Many and most of our kids are, but poverty is an orphan maker. And what happens is if a girl has poverty around her, the traffickers go to villages and find these young girls with no job, no possibilities. And they'll say, listen, would you like a job as a waitress in Italy? Or would you like a job as a, 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 a nanny? A, a woman will go and say, listen, do you want, do you want to be a, a nanny? We'll, we'll, you can come and stay in our house. We'll pay you $50 a month or whatever. And, and a, a girl just like this, just like Oksana, not a party girl, not a girl that goes out and drink, just a, a regular kid listens and that, accepts. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, before I came here at 14 years, I was yeah. working in a house of a rich man who was also an alcoholic and I was cleaning after school his house. Yeah. Uh, so also wow. he had a dog that made a lot of mess. Uh, oh. in the, in this house and I hated to come there and uh, it was he was living alone and I was all the time afraid to go there and I was taking my little brother to stay with me uh, yeah. because I didn't feel protected but he was paying me uh, five euros for a week so and I thought it's a lot there is a lot of money that's so, amazing yeah well, I mean that, uh, so that's what poverty does it drives these kids into dangerous situations. And, and the, the guy that Catalina was working for getting five euros a week, about seven dollars a week, that guy, if, if he were a trafficker, one day she would go there and disappear and, and she would be gone and sold on to someone along the line, beaten, raped and, and, and broken. And within a, 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 I visited the embassy there one time and the ambassador said that within 24 hours these kids are, are in different countries and they'll, they'll use them 30 to 50 times a day until they kill them. And um, that's what Vatra Village does. It, it brings them to us and they come into these homes. There's house parents in the homes. We put them back in school. We tell them you're not a mistake. God has a plan for your life. God is doing something for you. And this is an opportunity just like Oksana. And what happens is they, they come alive with possibility and they, they are driven. They are absolutely faith driven kids. And um, I am just excited, man. This is crazy.